You want to know a trick to keep anyone from bothering you from basically uh, doing anything? Wear an orange vest. Everyone will just think you're uh, officially with somebody doing something. Has um, anybody here ever swam at Mountain Base Pond? Raise your hand. Mountain, mountain Base Pond. Say there's like three or four kids. Yeah, we're going to talk about that a little bit further on, but that was part of the, uh, the development. The Uncanunic Mountains, located in Goffstown, pretty much everyone knows about them, Indian word meaning breast. There's a North and a South Mountain. South Mountain is actually one foot taller than the North Mountain at 1,321 feet. In the glory days, you could see the ocean from the tops of these peaks, and ships coming into the harbor in Portsmouth could actually see the peaks from the water. In 1903, a group of businessmen from Manchester wanted to put together another incline railway because they had already done one in Massachusetts and New York. They took one look at this South Mountain and they said, let's build an incline railway up there and develop a hotel, and it was finished in 1907. They developed a railway that went from Shirley Park and then stopped here at the base of Uncanunic, and then you'd get on the incline railway, which would go up. It was a two-cart system, one train going north, one train going south of the mountain, and it was a counterbalance. It was developed by the Audis Elevator Company, which also at the same time was making the Cannonball Roller Coaster located in Canby Lake Park, which is one of the oldest roller coasters in America. And Otis is still making elevators to this day. You've probably ridden one or two in your life. The whole project was $75,000, and it was a five-story high, 36-room, 120-guest hotel located at the top. You could stay there for $1.50 a day or $7 for a full week. And at that time, the hotel was especially state-of-the-art because it had running water in every single room. It had a large dining hall, 1,000 feet veranda on the top, and a searchlight that you could point right down into the village, and they would do that so that it always looked like there was a party at the top of the mountain. They would point it down at the city, you would see it, and you'd be like, wow, I gotta get up there because something looks really cool at the top. But the hotel was only in full operation until 1923 when it burned down due to a fire in the wintertime that was believed to be by two hikers going up and creating a fire underneath the porch. Now the trolleys that brought people up and down this mountain were 40 feet long, held 60 passengers, and the seats were actually tilted so that you would be sitting normally as it went up the mountain. But those trolleys are now in some houses, or so people think. So you may have seen these peculiar little houses around the base of the mountain that look like a trolley has just been driven through them. And the common misconception is that these are leftover trolleys from the Incline Railway, when in fact they were purchased by the Orr family who bought them from the Hudson Rail Line Company and converted them into homes. 